That's it. Everything. Doesn't matter. In, in all things, give thanks. He gave you the ability to enjoy anything. Nothing bad. It's not his fault. He had to give us free will choice or else we'd just be automatons like all the other animals just going on instinct. So we got free will choice. We, our ancestors chose wrong. It's in our genetics. We got the, this curse that befell the earth. Uh, the roses, instead of being nice, smooth stems, now they have thorns or mean. They're cursed by demonic forces that are hostile to God. I don't know how else to put it. And by extension to man, because we humans are made in the image and likeness of God. So they're haters. Fundamentally, that's all this demon force is, the satanic forces that rule over evil men that influence them and their decisions that influence us on the ground. They're just bad. They're, it's all they have to give. And that's where it's coming from. So they're, they're challengers to God's sovereign authority. And it can't end well, well for them, but that doesn't bring any joy to the heart of the righteous. It's just more fear is induced. And remember, we're stuck together on this ship of fools. So wherever we go from here, one day at a time, they're taking us with them hostage. So you understand, it, it's, that's why it's scary. Because physically, we are all stuck on this ship of fools. The only way you can get out of it is spiritually in your heart and mind, ethereally, you know. It's just uh, with our essence, like I call it. I mean, we're not bodies, though we inhabit these bodies and we're very well integrated. We are essence and we're eternal essence. We're this cosmic stardust, this beautiful phenomenon of God. He's living vicariously through us. And we're living in that relationship like his kids. It's all very ecstatic and beautiful. And you know, the bliss, remember, we all remember that bliss, that sense of well-being when your parents are you know, tender, loving care and holding you. That's what they want to do with us all the time. And we got to do it together. We can't, you see, we're stuck in this ship of fools and we got to let our parents love us in this ship of fools. And it's, it, it's easy to tune out of that love, but I want to be blissed out all the time, man. You know, I want a, that sense of well-being. I want it all the time. I want to get it back. I only get glimpses of it, that euphoria, right? We all remember that. And even into, you know, I, I carried it into uh, teenhood, that sense, I mean, you know, that I knew there was something beautiful, you know, before I ever had an orgasm, for example. And I knew there was just something very powerful and beautiful, and I was really alive and driven with that force, though I, I didn't know just how powerful it was. I had no idea. I hadn't felt that sensation. It's part of this gift God gave me as a young man. This, this taste of how good it felt for God to procreate. Would you resist that if you had feeling? If you could, that ex ecstasy, that euphoria, that bliss, that orgasm, okay? No, you wouldn't. That's God's commandment. Again, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. And I want to thank God for it. We should all just find many, many, many ways to thank God every day of the week and just pray for the people in power uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I should have been saying that more about Trump, I guess. I don't know. Is it my fault he got kicked out of office? I think he had to sue the manufacturers of uh, diet soda pop. That's my opinion. Brain damage. Dr. Russell Blaylock. I'm not making stuff up. Neurosurgeon says it causes wood alcohol in the body, this aspartame product. And that causes the brain damage. Look it up. Just read for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I'm not making anything up. That's my source. So if you're going to sue anyone, sue him. But, yeah, so, you know, I blame that for the brain damage. Otherwise, he would have brought up the bailout of 08 that was so unpopular and how Biden was very instrumental in that with Obama in pushing that thing through, legitimizing what was illegitimate, what these criminal bankster class did by dumping all that money on us. It was wrong. It debased our money, watering it down, diluting it, deworthing it, debasing it. That's what they did. And that's theft. That's how they, slavery keeps taking place, how they've normalized it right under our noses. Put more and more burden on us with this national debt. Not talking about that in the mainstream media. Much are they? Friends, time went really fast this morning. I'm going to get quickly on to uh, recent current events and other talking points. You know, yeah, we ought to fire all the politicians. I think they can all go as far as I'm concerned. We could keep the law enforcement, the FBI, and the, and the police, and the sheriffs. 
and the highway patrol for sure they're my favorite branch because even their presence i i could be a highway patrolman but i, I could never go to the scene of these crashes i i, I couldn't stomach it it's just too horrific driving to the grocery store last night there was some horrific accident out on the highway i don't know how bad i hope nobody was killed i didn't see it in the news this morning but i don't know what the heck happened out there but highway patrol and and uh, yeah, the vehicles were already removed but I don't know, but I value the highway patrol for sure. Right, that job those people do, oh my God, and the paramedics and the firefighters, all those people, the first responders, we got to keep all those guys. But to heal the political divide, we need to ban all political parties, my friends. You know, I learned that this term genius we use all the time, it comes from the term genie, which I found interesting. Yeah, I talk about economic physics, you know, how it's really like a scale. When your cost of living goes up, then the worth of your money goes down. Okay, just like the classic scale we all know that's balanced when it's right here and then it gets imbalanced, you know. I forget which type they call that, but... Um, it's interesting that they're bailing out the landlords, protecting their, their rents, and... Uh, but in 08, they did nothing to bail out the poor people that were losing their houses right and left to foreclosure. It would have been a whole hell of a lot cheaper to do something like that. And this makes sense to you? What's going on? Yeah, a lot of landlords became landlords because of 08. Yeah, the rulers thrive on chaos and they uh, are bent on keeping us confused and ignorant and therefore disempowered. They don't want us unifying. That's the last, the worst nightmare for the top evildoers is the American people unifying. You know why Satan hates America and why it's the apple of his eye for a long time is because we're based on godly principles and precepts. It's that simple. Lastly, friends, I just wanted to say, let's remember that life's good, right? All right, friends, I'm going to uh, go to a few thoughts I've had from the last week or so. Try to read quickly here to get as many in as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, friends, but when people are a-holes to us, we simply cannot be a-holes back. This includes a-holes on the highway, even if we really, really want to be, and there's no exceptions. The only relevant aspect of declaring a chunk of real estate a, quote, nation is the people inhabiting that real estate. The people inhabiting that nation have a default position right to choose the Every nation has an inherent right to sovereignty on their collective terms. That's why a constitutional representative republic is better than a democracy, my friends, right there in a nutshell. You can't exclude anybody's desires for the nation, okay? You can't just say you don't have a voice in this. They must. Otherwise, I mean, where is it headed? Well, we know. We know where we are. Perhaps this is an absurd question, but one in which may be infinitely profitable, depending, that's a subjective term, right? There's the base profit, like money we think of, and then there's spiritual profit. Here's the question. If anyone could place a price on a noble, pure heart, what would it sell for? The interesting thing is, is that it is entirely free. All we must do is claim it. Whatever the opposite of a tyrant is, that's what I choose to be. This is your prerogative too. Choose wisely. If you, if you, like myself, are basically a simple, easygoing, live and let live, freedom loving, fear loathing, nice human being, genuinely attempting to enjoy your brief little life on planet Earth, then you also are likely profoundly frustrated that there are very powerful forces that do not want you to have those things. Positively knowing God's will for you is not rocket science, nor is it a mystery. Rather, it is clear, concise, logical, and matter-of-fact. 
That will for us is a real, everlasting sense of overall happiness, an ever-expanding sense of well-being, of joy, contentment, safety, security, freedom, prosperity, and just overall happiness. Why entrust another to hand you reality when your ability to understand reality is just as reliable as theirs? Think of something negative, anything negative. Now use your God-given imagination to see all those things gone. That, my friend, is the world of tomorrow. Well, friends, I got to sign off and listen, best everybody today and forever, okay? We're a family, and the better things are for you, the better they are for me. And we've got to, that's everybody. Friends, family, strangers, it does not matter. Okay, that's going to make God happy if we live like that. That'll make us happy in return. So God bless everybody.